Hello, this is part one of the stab button tutorial. The stab button is located right next to the left arrow on your calculator, so let's press that now and take a look at this menu. You'll notice that the stab menu has three options across the top which take us to different menus. And in this first tutorial we're going to take a look at this edit menu. So stay tuned. In this session, we're going to use the data set that I have down here in the bottom right hand corner of your screen of these 10 values. We're going to enter them into our list by using the edit option. And then I'm going to show you what effects these other options have. So let's go to our edit menu right now. And you'll notice I already have the values entered in here. I'm going to clear them out here in a second. But I just wanted to show you that at one time you can see seven values in a list. Now, if you need, want to go down and see these other three values of 50, 30, and 45, I just use my down key. Go down, and there's 50, there's 30, and there's 45. And if I go down one more, you'll notice that's where I stopped and turned in values. you also notice that for my L1, my list 1, this is the 11th spot in here. So usually what I tell my students is if... Um, you have a set of 10 values you're going to enter in, and you want to make sure you have them all in. Go down to the spot where you stopped, and it's good, it should be one more than the number of, of data that you've entered in. So let's go back. I'm going to clear this. I'm just going to show you how to enter um, the values in. To clear it, I can go back to my stat menu, go to Choice 4 to Clear List. And if I enter right now, there's going to be an error. That is because when you use this option, what you need to do is you need to tell what list you want to clear because there's uh, several different lists in that menu. So I need to go to the second one and bring up the L1 and I'm going to clear the list L1 and when I hit enter it's done. So let's go back to our stat menu take a look at that list. I'm going to hit choice one for edit and now it's cleared. So to enter these values back in all I need to do is look at my set of data and start typing in the numbers that I have there. So there's 10, hit enter, and you notice how it takes me down to the next line. It's ready for my next value. Hit 25, 5, 15, and just, you know, try to make sure you don't skip any numbers. And like I said uh, before, when we get done doing this, we can double check to see what position my cursor is left off at. And it should tell me if I've entered in all 10 values. And look here, it does. Uh, my cursor right now is at the 11th spot, which means there's 10 values that were entered in before it. So let's go back to the stat menu, and what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you how to sort this data, because you, if you notice, it's all out of order, and we're going to sort it in ascending order. So I'm going to take choice two, and just like with the clear list, when I had to enter in the L1 there, I got to do the same thing when I sort here. So I'm going to go second, one, which brings up the L1, close my parentheses, hit enter, and it's done. So when I go back to my list now, hit stat, hit enter, you'll notice it's in ascending order. It's starting with the lowest value and counting up. And you'll notice now that I have multiples of 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, all the way down to 50. So let's go back to that stat menu. And let's uh, rearrange this, or reverse this, and sort it in descending order. So let's choose choice three. Again, don't forget to tell the calculator what list you want it to sort. So I put the L1 in there, hit enter. It's done. Let's go back and take a look. And my first value should be my highest value. Yep, it is 50. And it's counting down to my lowest value of 5. The last thing I want to show you before uh, we end this tutorial is there is other ways to clear the list. If I go up to the top and I hit clear, it will clear my list. Now, a common mistake that a lot of students of mine make is they hit the delete button instead of clear to clear this list. It's a shortcut. So if I hit delete, look what happens. My L1 totally disappears. And my students will start to panic and they'll wonder where it went. And there's an easy way to bring that back. If you go back to your stat menu, and you go down to uh, choice 5, which is Setup Editor, what it's going to do, it's going to restore all your list. And what's really neat about this, after I hit Enter, it says Done, is that if I had data in my list, it's still there. 
Now I'm just going to show you, I'm going to clear my list real quick to show you the shortcut for clearing the list. If you just hit clear now, you'll notice that my L1 is empty down here. It doesn't appear empty here yet, but if I hit enter, it's cleared. And that's a shortcut to that choice for a clear list.